Hi everyone, it's Jennifer Trask, uh, founder of jennifer-trask.com and creator of Mindset and Marketing Mastery, the ultimate breakthrough experience for coaches. And I'm so excited to be here today with Lori Pinhorn. Hello. Lori is a holistic health coach and she's been one of my clients for, oh God, is it close to a year now? Uh, it's, yeah, it was September last year. Right, okay, so... And we're here for, I wanted Lori to share her story with you of uh, how she got, she her, her business has changed dramatically and grown so much. Um, and there's a lot more to come in the future, I know, I think so. of course. Um, but I wanted her to share her experience with you um, so that you can take some things away and um, learn from what has happened with Lori um, mm -hmm. in her in her coaching practice. So Lori, uh, first I'd like to ask you, why don't you tell everybody why, why, how did you get into coaching? Why did you become a coach, a health coach? And, um, you know, then I guess where your business was when we met and where it is now and then, well, where it's going too. It's exciting. Well, I guess I feel like I've always been a coach in some ways. Yeah. Um, I have lots of practice coaching little kids as gymnasts and sure. also I was a social worker, I still am a social worker, so that's a, a coaching process of trying to help people, you know, make better life choices and, and all that. So about uh, 10 years ago, I decided I wanted to make a, a shift in my life and I wanted to really formally learn more about food because I was learning about food yeah. and I was getting really frustrated and angry with the whole food industry and the diet industry and what I thought were lies yep. that the industry was, I guess, feeding us. And so I decided to study nutrition formally. And so that's when I went back to school and started to study holistic nutrition. And that really spoke to me because that whole philosophy of being a holistic nutritionist is about spread the word. Right. Don't keep this information to yourself. Right. Because it's a political issue. It's a spiritual sure. issue. It's a, a personal growth issue. So spread the message. So when I was finished that, I decided that I wanted to, you know, have my own private practice, my own business. And I tried to do that for a while on my own, and I was, I was struggling. So, um... <laughs> Her phone is ringing. My phone is ringing. I should have That's okay. okay. <laughs> we won't edit that out. Um, this is life. What like happens. It's probably a client. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, um, I had my own business going and I had a package of services that I was selling to people mm -hmm. and I was really motivated about getting the message out there and I was trying what I thought was the best way to market my product yep. knowing that that's not my skill set. Right. So I have recently taken on the philosophy over the last little while is if I don't have the skill, find somebody who does. Right. And yes. bring them into my network. Yes. So, um, that's when I decided I needed some, I needed some help. Right. Yes. Right. So I saw one of your videos. Right. And uh, watched your videos probably for a month or more before I finally made contact. But right. That's uh, I had a message that I wanted to send out to the world. Right. And I didn't have the I didn't have the recipe. Right. I didn't have the formula. Right. What the I business was, formula. Okay. Yes. Right. To spread the word. Yeah. Because in coaching, and this is one of the reasons I became a coach of coaches, because there's two sides to the business. There's being a good coach in whatever niche that is, and for you yes. it's nutrition and health and, yeah. and so on. And then there's the business side. And you yes. need both. And then you, both. you need both. Yes. Okay. And so where is your business today? Well, it looks really different <laughs> okay. than what, what my original plan sure. was. So the business now is um, is a coaching business. Yep. It's uh, packaged in a way that was really different before because yep. I always had the philosophy of you needed a long time to create long-lasting changes, and my programs were too short. So through the process of talking through you know, who our, my ideal client was, yep. Um, and we figured out together yep. that the programs needed to be longer. So yeah. that's one of the big changes. Yeah. The other big change is is that I was undercharging. Yes. For my service. Huge. Yeah. And I realized that I had a money block. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad you brought this up. This is a common. This is a yeah. common thing for coaches. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Um, I think that's probably one of the biggest and best things I got out of this coaching process was that I didn't 
That's the funny thing about a block. You don't even know you have one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They come at us and we yeah. don't even know. That's yes. right. So I guess to be able to charge what I'm worth. Yes. Is so powerful. Very powerful. And, you know, it takes a process of, you know, being afraid of to ask for what it is that... Sure. But I've... Oh, my gosh. I've probably tripled my income. Woo! Because I'm trying to what I'm worth. You know, and so yeah. that... Uh, getting over that money block was... Was, big. was a big thing for me. And you're also location independent. I am. I can work from all over the world. Right. And that was Beautiful. one of the things that I carved out in my business in, in working with you was mm -hmm. that... Um, I'm very fortunate in that I like to travel and my husband works and travels a lot and I can I can take my laptop and I can work from wherever I want to. I just came back from vacation in Florida right? where I had I spent a couple of days working yep. and I'm heading on the road again next week yep. and I'll take my computer and I'll work from there. Like there's, I can work from anywhere in the world which is an amazing Thing. Yeah, it really it's a, is. It's a great a feeling. I know that was one of my. I had my list seven years ago, mm -hmm. and that was one of five. And when I finally achieved it, um, it was a sense of freedom for me because, well, personally, I'm not. I don't like being tied. Yes. Husband, right. Yes. So, and I, I like you, just adore to travel and yes. see the world, and so that sense of freedom that comes yeah. with. Being able to make your schedule, all you need is your laptop. I guess our caveat is we must have good Wi-Fi. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not anywhere completely, yes. but yeah. almost anywhere. And it also gave me a part of me wanting to do my own business was to have a bit more work-life balance. Yeah. yeah. And it it allowed me to work from my home right. and also to be able to take care of the things that I needed to take care of right around here because you know we all most of us women <laughs> yes. have two jobs, right? Yes. You're your full-time job of what your business is, and then you've got another job where you're, you know, you're taking care of other people. And That's right. I love that part of my life, don't get me wrong, but it was hard to go to work every day. Sure. And so now I get to work from home, and I get things done much more efficient Yes. at my whole life as, uh, because, I work from, because I work from home. Uh -huh. yeah. And so how was being in a coaching program like, how did that affect the transition you were going through and to get you to where you are now? Well, I think the biggest thing was I knew when we were meeting. Yep. And I had homework to do. Yep. And <laughs> I was... get somewhere. I <laughs> so I had to get it done. And yep. I, um, I went through a process that I didn't even know I needed to go through. Right. Powerful. Yeah, so I fine-tuned the business. I fine-tuned my own work schedule, too. So if some of you guys are watching this, might have watched or listened to the webinars over the last little while. Absolutely. So some of the stuff that Jennifer talked about in those webinars about chunking your time, mm -hmm. scheduling your time, um, and, uh, like, that's been really powerful for me. I've actually been, you know, I'm a bit, you know, I'm more efficient. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was really scattered. I was like... I'll just see a client whenever. Please, please just come and see me. Yeah. And as a result of that, my time was scattered and I wasn't as efficient. So right. I've scheduled out when my day, my client days are, my marketing days. Um, I also really learned that you have to market. Yes. Like the marketing, nobody can buy from you if they don't know you exist. You exist. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's so important. And then you sit home and you feel really bad. Like... Like right. People are rejecting your service, but they don't even know, they don't even know that you're out there. So, right. You know, and then the level of the marketing. Right. You know, like, um, people need to hear your message a lot. Yes. And people, I think, are afraid that are like, oh, God, I'm bothering people because I'm telling them so much that I'm here and this is my great service. Right. But, um... Well, people, no, people don't see every, everything that you post or you send out. Sure. Or whatever, so, um... Yeah, building that online presence, I think, was another really big thing. Right. Yes. Good. So yes. it sounds like the accountability was a big piece. Yes. Getting sort of more systematized and organized. Yes. Definitely. And understanding and learning yes. how to market. And the, like, um, before I started my business, I didn't have a Facebook page. 
Right. Not even a personal Facebook page. I was afraid. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't think I knew you didn't have personal. <laughs> if I did, I was afraid to post on Like, right. I wasn't active. Let's right. just say that. I might have been out there, but I was probably just creeping around watching. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I got, you know, the skills, I guess, I'm up on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, I'm yeah. Pinterest and Twitter, like, the fact that that's happening for me is really exciting, and far, much farther than I thought I would ever be, but also the systems, the electronic systems that work in the background, yes. which I didn't even know right. what they were. Right. So, now, people ask me how to do that stuff. It's me. Whoa! Like, that's a big yeah. one. <laughs> so, like, you know, to have an automated system for your mail-outs and to sure. know how to automate things, like... So I spend my Monday morning, that's a chunking of my time, my Monday morning is my admin time to get all of that done. Then it's right. done for the that's it's done for the week. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So it really helped me get things organized. Yeah. Amazing. And so I know a lot of people watching this are going to be thinking about signing up for the Mindset and Marketing Mastery program, maybe getting the additional coaching that's available with it. So what would be your advice to someone who's looking at coming into this program? What would you say to them to um, let them know whether it's the right fit for them or what have you? Well, I would say if you're considering it, make contact. <laughs> <laughs> because what you think it is might be something totally different. That's true. So you need to have, you know, the dialogue. I And I do that with my clients now. I offer people, like... You know, a half hour chunk of just consulting time to find out if it's a good fit. Right. Right. Yeah. And so that people exactly know what it is that I do. So, but I would say that um, coaching is important, mm. and it's actually been proven to work. So yes, it is proven to <laughs> work. <laughs> Definitely. So uh, I know that I will always have a coach in my life. Yeah. From now on, because it just sets you up in this place where you set. Uh, you set goals for yourself. You're always moving faster and always moving forward. forward because um, there's somebody there that's help, you know helping you get through tough times and helping you, you know, when there's times and I made these calls sometimes you're like, oh no, what's <laughs> <laughs> especially when Laura was doing. She just finished her first launch and had some pretty incredible results, yes. both in understanding more about her her market, but also some great financial results, which was amazing. And, uh, yeah, those are times when you're kind of on the phone a little bit more. There's more emails going back and forth and, yes. um, yeah. you know, <laughs> and I get anxious and nervous and get overwhelmed and she talked me down. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's all so gonna work out. That was really helpful to know that I had, you know, access right. to you when I felt like I needed it. Yeah. And so that was, that was always really helpful. Yeah. And to have somebody who speaks the same language. Is yes. Really, really Yes, it's really, really important. When not everybody else around me is saying, I don't understand why you're getting so worked up over this. That's because you don't understand. That's right. <laughs> what it is that we're trying to do here. So right. it's it's always nice to have somebody in your back pocket who's yes. supporting you and telling you, you know, everything is, it's going to work out. Yeah. And yeah. what's what actually is a, something I like that you said, which is what I love about a group coaching program, is that you have that extra support. So... While everyone's going to be able to talk to me on the live community calls or if they choose you know, some more one-on-one -on -one time, um, they'll also have the group support. Um, that's something that's really powerful to you to have that accountability to more people. Yes. Even. Yeah. And I think that your coaching is different than probably some other people's coaching. Yeah. It rang true to me because there is um, a spiritual piece to it. Yes. There's a piece of, because some coaches would say, now... Get down and do your business. Right. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, did you do your meditation today? Right. Did you do your alignment? Are you thinking, are you attracting your clients to you? Because when you're in that space of being, oh no, gosh, I don't have a client today, or the, my books don't look like I'm supposed, what I'm supposed to look like, she'd say to me, okay, hang on now. Right. Let's align the thought into more. And the intention. And the intention. So... That if you're watching this and those kinds of words and the you know law of attraction speaks to you, then yeah. And it's interesting. I'm glad you brought that up because that's why the course is mindset yes. and marketing mastery. Because one of the things that I've learned, I mean, I teach marketing, 
but, um, and I love marketing, I love business, but if you've got the best tools in the toolbox, but you're not taking action, no. or, or you're playing small, and you're taking bits of things, yeah. it's not going to work. And conversely, if you're taking massive action, but it's on bad marketing, you're not going to win either. Yes. And that's why you need both of them. Ooh. Yes, you definitely do. And that whole, your teaching has crossed over into my coaching. I, I talk about the alignment process with my clients all the time. Yeah. Same thing. You can have great nutrition information. Right. But, you know, until you feel like you're worthy of being in the best Big. health that you can possibly be in, then you're going to have a block. Right. And that's how the money block came up. Because yes, it's exactly. the worthiness of asking for what yes. you really what truly you really believe worth. it's worth. Yeah. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. Oh, is there anything else before we wrap up you you want to share? That's a pretty amazing story. <laughs> I'm so thrilled. Well, I would just say to people, trust the process. If your instincts are saying that there's something here, but you're scared at the same time, ah. if there's a little piece of your head that's saying, don't do that, you don't need it, you probably do. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, we've all been there. There's this thought at yes. the beginning that you know, oh, I can figure this out myself, right? Right? Because I can right. Google it and I can figure it out myself. You will spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. Yes. When it's you know time's money. <laughs> well, and it's funny because I'm a big, um, I'm an avid reader. I have coaches. I go to seminars. The whole thing. Yes. And that was always um, my philosophy is. Why would I go try to figure it out when someone already has yeah. and I can learn it that much faster? Yes. That was the biggest piece that I love to communicate in, in the coaching businesses. Yeah. I mean, it might take you, like, originally it took me three to five years to learn all this stuff. Yeah. And so now I can teach it to someone in a shorter period of time and that saves yes. them those three to five years. Yes, exactly. And I would also say to you, when, when you're weighing out the pros and cons of going into Jennifer's program or another program and the money comes up and it says, oh, this is too much money, um, you're going to waste a lot of money trying to figure out how to do it on your own. Yes. And you're going to make, you know, errors or you're going to spend money in places because you're frustrated. Right. And you're going to quickly spend money because you think it's a quick fix. Right. And uh, you'll spend a lot, You'll in the long run, this will pay off. Yeah. It's already paid off for me. Yay! Yeah. And Lori has a lot more great things coming down the mm -hmm. pipeline. So also, I'll make sure your contact information is in the notes because Lori is an amazing coach. And if health is something you do need help with, you can certainly check out Lori's site. She sends out great email tips, too. <laughs> videos. And videos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to film one right now. Oh, <laughs> ah, there you go. This. You're already ready. <laughs> Camera ready. <laughs> so. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to share your story Thanks with for me, asking me and with all of us. And thank you for being here uh, with us. And if you do have any questions for myself or Laura, you can certainly post them in the comments um, wherever this is on social media. Start with you on YouTube and, yeah. and Facebook. And thank you, Laura. Thank this you has been awesome. So have a wonderful day, and we hope you enjoy this, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye.